Tonight we are at the oldest operating ski area in North America, Howison Hill in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Now Howison Hill has sent more skiers to international competition than any other area in North America. And tonight with our stacked field of professional ski racers getting all fired up for a chance to win $10,000 and a Moose Barrows trophy. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Sassy, alongside Olympian Pam Fletcher and welcome back to the new World Pro Ski Tour. Now, this incredible journey began a couple of weeks ago in Golden Peak in Vail, Colorado for the first annual Pepe Gram Summer Cup where Robert Cohn, AKA Captain America, reigns supreme. And Mark, Olympic and World Championship medalist Ted Ligeti will be racing tonight here on Hollison Hill for the Moose Barrows Trophy. Ted is one of the best giant slalom racers in skiing history with two Olympic gold medals, five World Championship gold medals, and five World Cup giant slalom titles. But Mr. GS will have his work cut out for him tonight <laughs> with this tenacious talent pool we have on the tour. Robert Cohn is on fire with his win and day-long dominance in Vail. But Garrett Driller, Alex Lever, and Simone Breakfast Kalamander are all hungry for a win, scoring valuable training here on Hallison Hill in preparation for the second stop on the World Pro Ski Tour. Tonight will be a dual super slalom with 22 gates and two pro jumps on this challenging race course. The last event in Vail, Colorado also provided challenges and drama. USA's Thomas Wilson hooks a tip and flips off the course. He was not seriously injured. 2019 World Pro Ski Tour champion downtown Phil Brown was upset in the round of eight by Vail's Alex Lieber, who skied with tactics and precision down his hometown track. Simon Breifus, Kamalander, and Lieber came together in the small final, and Alex went on to beat the Bolivian bomber, Simon Breifus, Kamalander, to come in third. Strategy played a major role in the competition between racers Robert Cohn and Garrett Driller, who battled it out in the final runs to place first and second. In the end, Robert Cohn was visibly fastest and the most dominant skier of the day. But Driller will be a force to reckon with this season. Let's take a look now at earlier today. This is our round of 32, and Hallison Hill really created some drama all day long for our racers. This hill is technical. There were thrills and spills and plenty of challenges for these athletes. The hill twists and turns and falls away at times. Athletes really had to be right on their game. It was pretty amazing. There were more crashes in the first handful of racers at this race than almost all the other races last year combined. And look at how steep that slope is. One of the steepest on tour. But boy, some of the athletes were having fun with it. Just for fun, Garrett Driller throws a Cossack off the final jump, but it's about to get serious with Ted Ligeti joining the World Pro Ski Tour. With Ted coming onto the tour this year, we're all super excited. Probably a little nervous, I know that I am, but I think that this sport has a lot to do with intensity and aggressive skiing versus maybe a more calculated performance that Ted usually delivers in the World Cup. So. It'll be interesting to see how, how, how Ted uh, deals with it, how he copes with some of these you know, desk jockeys coming up against them in the race course. I think we got a really good chance this year against Ted. I mean, we are slalom skiers, um, especially. Like we've, we've been training for this, and he's been an amazing World Cup athlete. He's an awesome guy, but he's been skiing a lot more GS this year. And I think we, as all the slalom skiers that are coming back into this, we got a lot of World Cup X athletes as well, and we have a really good chance to, to put, him, put him back a little bit on it, put him in the put him in the back seat, surprise him, I think. Having Ted come onto the tour is awesome. It's great to, to see some you know more notable names on the World Cup Tour coming back to race the World Pro Ski Tour. I think he'll be shocked when he comes and sees the level of skiing here, and, and I, I hope I get to race against him because I think, uh, yeah, it'd be a good challenge. I definitely feel like, yeah, people are trying to target me here a little bit, you know? I think just coming in, this is my first event, so people don't wanna, don't wanna let me come in here and just walk all over them, and I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, We'll see how it goes, but uh, it's going to be some tough racing for sure. World Pro Ski Tour on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Tough Shed. Dream, design, and build at toughshed.com. Welcome back to the second stop of the new World Pro Ski Tour, House and Hill in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Here's a look at the bracket for the round of eight. We're going to start things off with Robert Cohn and Thomas Wilson. 
Cohn gets the early jump out of the start gate on Wilson, way out in front, increasing his lead turn to turn. He's almost two gates ahead at this point. And Wilson just trying to scramble to make up the time, but Cohn, like a cat, crushes Wilson. All right, next up to the top, we've got Simone Breitfuss Kamalander taking on Mr. GS Ted Ligeti in his first World Pro Ski Tour race. And Simone pushing the needle here as he tries to stay ahead of Ted Ligeti going over that first jump, and he continues to hold on to that lead. Ted Ligeti, the way he angles his skis and his ankles, gets his tush down on the snow, but it's not quite enough as they go over that second jump. Simone holding on to that lead as they come through the finish in that first run, he takes the heat. Here's what Ted had to say. It's really exciting. You never know how it's gonna go when you're racing head to head against somebody. Definitely a lot notches up the intensity and with these jumps and how the snow is and under the lights, it's uh, anything can happen. So it's been a lot of fun. All right, settle in, be relaxed, super relaxed, zen, and then just miss your start. <laughs> Classic Driller trying to psych out Ankeny in the start. Ankeny gets the jump on Driller right out of the gate. Driller gets a little rough spot there, but Ankeny powering strong off the jump. Ankeny out in front still. Whoa! Driller gets in the back seat and inside and flips out of the course. Spectacular fall, but great recovery from Garrett Driller. All right, let's go back up to the top for the final run of heat number one. Harrison Goss. 21 year old from California, facing off last year's overall champion, Phil Brown. Remember, Phil got bounced out in the round of eight in Vail recently, and will do anything possible to not let that happen again. And he did it right there in that first run against Harrison Goss. And here's the man in top form, Robert Cohn from Killington, Vermont. He's won the last two, can he make it three? Coming out of the gates, Robert Cohn has the advantage going into the second run. And look at the lead he is garnering. He has gotten so far out in front. Wilson is doing everything he can to try to keep pace with Cohn, but Cohn crushes it across the line again. And here's Mr. GS, and there's so much energy and excitement surrounding Ted Ligeti and him being a part of the second stop on the World Pro Ski Tour. Ligeti charging hard on the top throwing down some sweet arcs. Snakes by Kamalander, building speed with every turn. And Simone, he is the Bolivian bomber. What a machine he is. Smooth, cat-like off the jump. Ligeti coming into the finish and comes across the line with a win. Ligeti makes the semifinals in his first appearance at the New World Pro Ski Tour. Then back at the top, it's Garrett Driller and Michael Ankeny. Garrett Driller going by the nickname The Engineer, Michael Ankeny, the Joker, with the max advantage of .7 on this run. But Ankeny knows Driller. He knows that he's the comeback kid. Driller is trying everything he can to catch Ankeny. Ankeny getting a little sloppy, a little wide. Sometimes inside, Driller coming on strong, reeling Ankeny back in. Driller is a machine, and he is making up time on Ankeny right now. And Driller comes across the line, 40 thousandths of a second. He takes it and moves on to the next round. I was just trying to get in Mink's head. I was, uh, I was coming from behind. You know, you got to really push hard and just stay constant on the snow. And I was, uh, as soon as I hit the pitch, I just started yelling at him. But I was just getting in his head, and I could just feel him just giving a little back to me, giving a little back. And I finally got there at the very end. It was real close. This kid's yelling at me down the course. And I'm like, come on, dude. Give me a break. <laughs> All kinds of shenanigans going on here at Howlson Hill. But then it was Brown and Goss dueling it out for the final spot in the semis. And Phil Brown wants this more than anything right now, and he kept the lead on Goss all the way through and advances. For the second time this season, Alpine Bank sponsored the World Pro Ski Tour Junior Challenge. These young ski racers are captained by the pro athletes and both girls and boys get to race head to head with a chance to win scholarship fund money. What an amazing experience for these young ski racers to get mentored and coached by the pros. Thank you Alpine Bank! Stay tuned for more World Pro Ski Tour action when we come back. Welcome back. We are here under the moonlight at Howelson Hill in beautiful Steamboat Springs, Colorado. A long day of ski racing for these guys, and it is not over yet. 
Up at the start house now, we're gonna see our semifinal first run between the defending champion right now, Robert Cohn. He's gonna be taking over the red course, and Mr. GS himself, Ted Ligeti, will be taking over the blue course. Both of these athletes, very intense competitors, but you know, Ligeti was saying that it's not like the intensity on the World Cup, it's a different type. Okay, we're getting ready to, here we go, the doors are about to open, the lights are going down. Out of the gate at the same time. Both skiers really powerful up here on the top and neck and neck as we can see them come down through the course off the first jump. Big air for both of these racers off that first jump. And Cone gets a little wild, a little ragged and Ligeti's trying to squeak it on by him. Coming into this next jump, Ligeti touches down first and it's to the finish to the line, it's Ligeti. Mr. GS making a statement here tonight. Can he keep it up for the finals? Cone known for his powerful starts, but watch, both racers get out exactly the same time. And look at Cone, he gets a little wild, little back seat. You've seen him lift his ski up and get a little sideways in between those Takes gates. Takes advantage of that. Takes advantage of mistake. Get to the bottom, <laughs> the Back to the top, we have Phil Brown, and we also have Garrett Driller. Now, Garrett Driller just recently won a ski race here at Halliston Hill, the Holiday Classic, under the lights. Does that mean that Garrett Driller has a little bit of an advantage because he skied this course recently? We're gonna find out soon. Both of these guys want a spot in the final. Doors open, but where happened to Driller? You didn't even get out of the gate. Where was Driller in the start? He's got time to make up now. Well, he's gonna have to scramble to do it too because this course is tough. It's steep, it's challenging. And whoa, you just saw Brown go wide. Driller's kind of make a move on him. Will he get sideways himself? And then Driller gets sideways over the second jump. Phil Brown in the front all the way through to the finish line. He takes that first run. What happened to Driller at the start? Well, doors open and Driller's still standing there. It's like he just missed the timing. And then down here on the bottom, Driller gets in the tails in the back seat and just dumped a ton of time. Phil is focused tonight. What an exciting day for our ski racing fans here at Howaldson. All right, back to the top. Robert Cohn now has to make up a point four one nine against Ted Ligeti. They have swapped courses. Robert Cohn is on the blue course now. Ted Ligeti on the red. And these two boys are vying for a spot in the final round, and they're out of the gate. Ted had the advantage, but Cohn's strong start. They went out at the same time. A point four one nine. He can make that up in no time flat. And you can already see that Cohn has the advantage. He's ahead of Ligeti. Oh, the spray, the confusion. Ligeti got a little bit sideways and way offline. And that's all that Cone needed to be able to take advantage of that point four one nine. Now Cone right here, Cone is two for two and on a mission to make it a three-peat. Right at the start, watch Ligeti's door open first before Cone, but Cone so powerful out of the start. Cone touches off the bump first before Ligeti. But look at that spray, that's gotta be confusing for the competitor and Ligeti gets way off track and low in that gate. Right there, Moose Barrows, Olympic legend. And loved by everybody here in Steamboat Springs and Hallison Hill. All right, back to the top. Phil Brown has the advantage of the second run over Garrett Driller with a point four eight six. These two guys have swapped courses. We have Garrett Driller on the blue course now, Phil Brown on the red. Yeah, but even though Phil Brown has the advantage and is out first, he knows he cannot let off the gas pedal when he's racing Driller. Driller, the comeback kid, has been having run after run of unbelievable arcs down this course. Driller finds a way by the bottom of the course to make up that time. Let's see if he can do it again today. And he's trying to reel Brown in. It's going to be close. He's really turning on the gas on the bottom, but is it enough? Is it enough? Oh, if Driller had one more gate, but he didn't today. Phil Brown advances to the finals. It doesn't get much closer than that, people. Great respect between these two. So it will be Phil Brown meeting Robert Cohn in the finals at Howison Hill. I'm really trying. Ted had a good target on his back, and uh, but really the night's not done, and we need to keep pushing. We got a final coming up here against Phil. Oh yeah, I'm really happy to be back in the final against Rob. I'm gonna try to stop his little streak that he's got going here. Um, yeah, it's getting a little bit rough out there, but we're gonna try and you know battle and compete and see uh, who crosses the line first.
Can Cone make it a three for three? We're gonna find out after the break on the CBS Sports Network. World Pro Ski Tour on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Surefoot Ski Boots. The difference between good skiing and great skiing. Welcome back to Howison Hill, everyone. What a day it's been. All of Steamboat Springs is here, and it's time for the finals. This is the consolation round between Garrett Driller and Ted Ligety. And these two guys have been facing off a lot today and it's coming down to who wants it more. Ted Ligeti in his World Pro oh! Ski Tour debut has learned how to master that start and they're out of the gate at the same time. That's right, we're under the lights here at Howison Hill. Fatigue is setting in, whose tank has more gas? Triller, fluid, smooth off that jump. A little bit ahead of Ligeti, getting some spray in his face. Ligeti trying to scramble to catch up. Look at the edge angles that Ligeti gets coming down through the course. What an upset. It's going to be Driller who takes a big advantage over the veteran Ligeti into the second run. And the crowd is loving it. And Driller, what a sweetheart. I think he surprised himself beating Ligeti on this first run. All right, everybody. This is the first run of the finals. Defending overall tour champion from last year, Bill Brown is up against the winner of the last two World Pro Ski Tour races, Robert Cohn. $10,000 and the Moose Barrows Trophy are on the line. Let's go. The intensity is so high at the start. Cohn misjudges the timing of the opening of the start gate. So uncharacteristic of Cohn. And Brown takes full advantage of it. Phil Brown, yeah, exactly. Takes full advantage and continues to build that lead. Cone is trying to scramble to catch up. Brown, powerful, strong, aggressive, direct line down the mountain. Beautiful flight from both racers. And Brown wants it, cross blocking and direct line to the finish and takes it. So Pam, let's check this replay. Such an unusual start by Cone. It appears that Cone just started too soon, realized it, and then had to restart to get out of the gate. Small finals, let's go. Let's go is right, Garrett Driller. You're having a great night tonight. All right, back to the top now. This is the final one of the Constellation Round. Garrett Driller has taken over the red course, and we have Ted Ligeti, Mr. GS, moving into the blue course. We're gonna see who's gonna get that third spot on the podium coming up next. And Mark, it's been a long day of racing here at Howlson Hill. This is their 10th run of the day. The intensity though is still high. The energy levels are still strong. It's gonna come down to physical fitness. Steepest start on the World Pro Ski Tour, and here they go. Driller has the advantage, but Ted is not gonna let him take it without putting up a fight. It's taken all day, but these four final racers have finally mastered that first jump. Garrett riding that groove, and Ligeti trying to straighten it out a little bit too much, going a little too direct. Coming down to the bottom, Garrett is, oh, just smooth as silk, and Ligeti goes out. And this is a remarkable achievement by young Garrett Driller. And it's been a great first outing for Ted Ligeti on the World Pro Ski Tour. It was a lot of fun for sure. There was uh, there's definitely a learning curve to it. That's uh, that's for sure. And you know, trying to figure out the starts and the format, and especially you know when you're going head to head, and you get a little bit behind, you're getting sprayed, and that whole like mental game is uh, is totally different than my my usual game. So it's uh, it's fun to try to adjust to that, and uh, good time to get uh, get my first one under my belt. All right, Phil Brown has the advantage going into this run, and he wants to win this race so badly after being knocked out in the round of eight a few weeks ago in Vail at the Pepe Grom Summer Cup, and God, he can taste the victory. But look what he's up against, Mark. Cohn has won the last Red two course, World Pro Ski Tour Red events course, in a row. All right, it's time now for the race. We got Phil Brown on the red course, Robert Cohn on the blue course, both vying for $10,000. And the pressure is on. Brown is charging hard out of the start. Cohn, oh, gets a little bit forward and then off the jump, goes twisted in the wrong way. 
Brown strikes the gate, it throws him off balance and he goes down. And Phil Brown is so lucky he didn't get injured. <laughs> Tough break for Phil Brown, but what a great victory. What a great comeback for Robert Cohn after his big mistake in the first run. But let's take a look at what went wrong with Phil Brown's run coming off of that second jump. Brown strikes the gate, it throws him off balance and he goes down. And Phil Brown is so lucky he didn't get injured. Pam? We're about to present the first ever Moose Barrows Trophy here at Hollison Hill. Moose, will you do the honors? Robert, congratulations for winning the first Super Slalom at Hollison of many more to come. What do you think about the significance of this trophy? I'm thrilled to have this trophy here and really excited to see Moose. Uh, excited to see him every single run and bring the energy as they had a great day here. For Pam Fletcher, I'm Mark Sassy, and this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.